Hey, this is uh, Olivia, and I shouldn't be interacting with her when she's on top of me. Uh, she likes to bark when somebody rings the doorbell. And uh, so I've got the Guardian outside, because there's only two of us, and I've got this on my tripod. Uh, so basically, anytime I say a number, the Guardian is going to ring the doorbell. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use counter conditioning to stop a dog from knocking or barking when there's a ring at the doorbell. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just trigger it by saying that next month, I'm going to be turning uh, older than 21. There you go. This is what's called a classically conditioned response. The doorbell rings when somebody comes in or somebody's at the door. So to her, she recognizes that and this is, uh, so the doorbell uh, is an indicator. Well, what I want to do is use the doorbell as an indicator that she's about to get a treat. Now I do counter conditioning a little bit different than other people and so if you're an expert out there watching, you're going to say, oh, he's doing it wrong. I do it in this way intentionally. Olivia. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, now, this might not work as well. I haven't practiced this. I'm like the guys on TV. I just do it live in the moment. So um, if she barks while she's doing this, um, you would. And the next step was I would have somebody else over as a friend. The doorbell is basically in the kitchen. There's a chime box. I would have somebody holding a pillow up old, over it or a towel to lower the volume of it. All right. I can also sometimes do this with a phone, but she only does it for this particular sound. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna. First of all, I'm gonna let her start chewing the treat, and I'm gonna say a number like 21. Now that's not ideal, but you notice that she didn't get up and run away and it was only one bark. So I'm gonna go ahead and let her uh, continue. There we go. And only be doing, uh, at, there, at first you're only gonna say the number when she has the treat, she's chewing it. And I'm only gonna do it, not gonna do it when she's climbing on top of me. Uh, this is the second, no bark. A little bit of a grumble, a little bit of a bark. Okay, now we're gonna try it for, uh, you can't be on me. So this is awkward condition. When she jumps on me, the process stops. As soon as she gets down, I'm gonna let her start chewing it again. But it's up to her. This is force-free dog training. This is the way you should do it. You should not be doing this force and punish. There you go, Olivia. All right, so here we go. Up oh, number three. No bark. I want to achieve that two or three times. Oh, that was that was bad. That was bad on me. Sorry. Okay, that's all right. That's all my fault. Uh, Nineteen. There we go. And let's do another one. 21. 44. And 20. So this is why I do it this way, because I want to stop the reactive reaction. All right, now combine this with another one. All right, so now what we're going to do is now I'm going to switch it. And this is how everybody's like, that's how you're supposed to do counter conditioning. So now we're going to see if hopefully we can, I'm going to actually I'm going to do two. I'm going to do one more where she's going to get it while it happens. And then I'm going to do another one where the doorbell is going to ring and then she's going to get the treat. Olivia. How about 1917? 12? 20? Fourteen, ninety-nine, forty-seven. That's an ideal because she's jumping on me. So now, when the doorbell rings, the treat now goes into her mouth afterwards. Now you're going to have to practice a whole bunch of different uh, uh, variations. So I would enlist the, the help of a neighbor or a friend who could stand outside and talk to them, just like we're doing now. Now I've been saying a number. You saw it backfired once, so, but I don't want to say now, now, now. After showing them, now means the doorbell is about to ring. So instead, maybe the next time we do it, anytime we say a color, maybe the next time, anytime I say a city name, next time, anytime I say a country or an actor, come up with your varying code. That way the dog doesn't key into what you're doing. After a while, you can say up oh, 50, and then she gets the treat. Um, keep practicing at this. If you're, if you're doing this at home and your dog is reacting, you might be too close to the doorbell chime box. So, and this isn't ideal to do it right near the door. I normally do it away, but for the purposes of layout of the house, this is where it was easiest to do the video. Um, so if your dog does react, you would maybe uh, cover up the uh, chime box or move the dog further away. You might practice the dog in her bedroom over there with the doors closed to help muffle the sound a little bit. All right, let's do one more for the road. Olivia, Olivia. This is like the 27th time that she didn't bark. This is Olivia, and these are some tips and tricks on how you can use counter conditioning to stop a dog from barking when the doorbell rings.